we started in 2014 planting trees and we set a target of a billion uh, trees, called it the Billion Tree Tsunami. Tsunami not in a negative sense, but in a positive sense. It would be an unstoppable uh, movement. Pakistan is a, is a country which has a uh, highest deforestation rate. This is also a country where uh, the area under forest is hardly 3%. We've got mass migrations going on. We've got a huge population which, which gets at risk when climate strikes. We have 22 to 30 million people which are in harm's way when floods happen. Uh, so adapting to climate change has got economic costs, has got social costs, has got political costs and has got national security costs for Pakistan. To turn those costs into gains, Pakistan has expanded its commitment to reforestation. We are uh, you know, heading in the right direction and restoring our forests uh, uh, and uh, adding new forests into our mix. Because mangrove's importance is also this, that it uses four times more oxygen from the tree, and it uses four times more oxygen from carbon sequestration. It uses four times more oxygen from the tree, and it uses four times more oxygen from The government mobilized the private sector and local communities to grow, plant, and protect the saplings they needed to reforest the country, and at the same time, offer workers like Noor Jan an opportunity. और ये जो तिमरकारी है जो लगा रहे हैं वो हमारे लिए समंदरी इलाके में जो काम करते हैं लोग उन्हों के लिए बहुत फायदेमंद है इसको तिमर ये दरकत हैं ये समंदरी इलाके के तूफान जो आते हैं उसकी रोकथाम के लिए भी ये बीज जो है जमीन पे लगाते हैं उसमें पानी वगैरह लगाते हैं उसके बाद ये बीज जब उगते हैं तो ये जो है बढ़ते हैं तब 30,000 तक पहले हमने ये बीज लगा चुके हैं। Continuously plantation चलता रहे जैसे कि ये 2030 तक का vision है ये जो prime minister start किया 2030 तक अगर ये continuously 2030 तक चलता रहे हमारे लिए तो carbon sequestration के पूरी एक asset बन जाए। Pakistan hopes the success of the project will be a model for other climate projects. We want to be part of the global solution to climate change and not add to the problem. We want to shift our energy towards clean energy, uh, zero carbon energy, 60% of our mix by 2030. And we want to shift our transport 30% towards electric vehicle by 2030. If Pakistan is to survive climate change, we need forests in Pakistan.